Hey everyone, lighting's kind of bad, isn't it? Ah, uh, you know, it's getting kind of dusk. I wanted to do this earlier, but didn't do it. Wanted to go to a different spot instead of always looking at the same thing every time. So we're in a different spot in the house right now. Contest entry for Rob Walker. Let the music play. Two year anniversary. Yay! Happy two years, Rob. He told a neat story where how he found the VC and he was looking around and he stumbles upon my channel and he watches it. And, and then I, I think he said, if that clown can do it, well, <laughs> I can't be too hard. I'm sure I can do it twice as good. So on he came and Rob been great to have you. Oh, when Rob started, he used to have his phone up like this. So you only had this little this part of Rob and after a lot of work he got it so now it's inside it looks much better but Rob congratulations on two years man this is it's kind of dark isn't it we'll be good so the contest is show some albums from five you know from artists from some concerts you wish you could have seen but you, you never got to see and you know what are those and you know why is that the prize. Now, a lot of people don't know, Rob's from Manchester, and actually he's the Duke of Manchester. And I believe, if I heard this right, is the prize is you're either going to become the Duke or Duchess, depending on what you want, of Manchester. Yeah, is that not cool? Duke Steve. Duke, 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 Duke Steve of Manchester. Doesn't quite have the same ring, but... That's 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 the prize if I if I'm right. He's also talked about sending out some record albums or something, but I'm I'm coming for the Duke. So five albums, and we're gonna do this in under ten minutes. First one, Velvet Underground. Would that not be awesome to see? Now I think of the first concerts with Andy Warhol being there. Goes, oh gee, what oh, gee? Isn't this? Isn't this something? It would be fun to see Andy Warhol doing that, but he's kind of, you know, a little goofy. But to see the Velvet Underground, and actually, by the time they did Loaded, they were loaded with good material, great songs. But, I mean, this is right before, the, you know, Lou Reed left, but there was so much good stuff come, coming out of this group. And to hear 30 minutes of Sister Ray would just be outstanding. Fun. It would be so exciting to be able to see these guys. I don't know what kind of crowd would have been there. Probably would not have been my, my normal type, but the ones I picked here, <laughs> none of them were probably my crowd, but the Velvet Underground. The next one. I wanted to think of something kind of punk, you know? Something that was in your face to this, you know, to the man, flipping the man off and saying, listen, here I am. So I chose Mozart. Mozart. Because that guy, that guy, I mean, he just, he just kind of flipped off the man. You know, he did his own thing. He was so young, you know, the time he was playing the piano, he's eight in his teenage years, he's doing these concerts and stuff. But he's just kind of his own dude, you know. And I mean, he was kicked out of places. He's like, I want more money. And I mean, what in one court? They booted him out by actually kicking him in the butt. I mean, that's how rowdy this guy could get. I mean, could just I'm sure a concert by Mozart must have been fun, especially when he was younger. I mean, he was just, I'm doing my own thing, and it's about me. And Mozart was like, it's about me, so damn it, figure it out. Uh, you know, he, he died when he was 36, but uh, just... It, it would be really awesome to be able to sit there and listen to a Mozart concert. I think the people would really smell, you know, body odor was pretty bad and everything. Who knows, bubonic plague, what the hell might be happening. But we got COVID. Bubonic plague, COVID. Here's Cat. Okay, next one. I had a chance to see this next one in concert. And when I, I was in college, and it was probably 78, and I said, I'm going to go see this group. And they looked at me and they says, no, you're not. This is why he goes, but he says, they'll kill you. I says, what? Are you kidding me? Like, I'm in Nebraska. I'm going to go to Omaha to see the concert. And I didn't go, but it was Parliament. 
I was such a big Parliament fan. I thought, this would be so awesome. He's coming. The mothership. I mean, these guys are dancing around in diapers and outlandish costumes. It was just amazing stuff and and the horns that they were doing and the playing i it, it was a party now it was an extremely coked up fueled party i mean clinton instead of giving them money he got them into becoming coke addicts and so they just they needed the next score and clinton wasn't that cool of a dude but to see parliament ah and i got talked out of it they go you're going to be the only white guy there i said really Really? I, I, I'm very naive, but that, that would have been fun. Another fun one would have been, and some of you saw that. I'm sure some of you saw. I don't know if any of you saw Mozart. If you did, I really want to know you because you're a vampire. But Bella Cootie, man, this, 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 this would have been exciting. Uh, I've heard from some of you, a lot of you have told me some of your experiences at these concerts. I love when you guys tell me, you know, your thoughts on concerts and things you've been to. And these, his concerts would go on long. I mean, an album had two songs, one on each side, and it was just a jam, and it's just a jam and a rhythm, and they would keep going, and it was political, and it was fired up. There was energy happening to see this. The man that had over a hundred wives. How tired can you be? Uh, I'm amazed he had that much energy. But to watch, see him in concert, fellow Cootie, really would have been exciting. Then we have, then, Jonathan Richmond and the Modern Lovers. Uh, I think that this came out in 76, but I believe the album was done in 73. To have gone and heard when they did the material from this one, Roadrunner, Pablo Picasso uh, is, is on here. The Old World, Astral Plane, uh, The Modern World. Old World and Modern World are both on here. This is one of my dream albums. The one I wanted an OG from I'd mentioned. Uh, it's just incredible. Every song. This, this thing's such a beautiful thing. That would have been a fun concert. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Boom. Handles music for water. We'll just add that one in, okay? Uh, it would have been fun when he performed the music for water. See, Handel was, he'd already pissed off the, the emperor of Germany. You know, he told the German emperor because at that time, um, you were part of a court. You were hired, and basically you were in charge of their music, and they didn't pay you a lot. So he says, hey, you know what? I want to go over to England because they got some new stuff. I'm going to bring it back. So he went over to England. And he never came back. Well, the German emperor's pissed off. And he's doing okay with the English king, but then eventually he makes the English king mad. So now here's most, and so now here's Handel's going, oh man, I'm screwed. Germany's pissed off at me. England's pissed off at me. I have nowhere to go. I'm, I'm running out of money. So he comes up with music for water. And this would have been fun to have seen. He knew that the king was going to be on a barge coming down the river. So he got his orchestra, put it up right along the river, and they're waiting, and they're waiting. Aha! Uh -huh, here he comes! Strike up the band! And to bend there to watch it as his barge is coming. And the beautiful music of Handel's Music for Water, which is one of the most incredible pieces of music ever made, playing and going, and to see what the reactions would have been. He got himself back in favor with the King of England, so it must have been pretty good. But that would have really would have been exciting. So that's that's my sixth one. I didn't bring that one down. It's, it's water damage. <laughs> Seriously, music for water is water damage. Uh, but so is the Parliament one. But those are my concerts. Rob, congratulations. Two years. You did it. Say you made it. You kept doing videos and you know now 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 you're like a live stream superstar. Amazing. Thanks everyone for taking time to watch. Under ten minutes. You're welcome very much. Enjoy your time that I just gave you back. Bye.